Now, when I first thought up this list of errors, this is the very first scene that I thought of, of how their car fell into this kind of creek off this little covered bridge. Um, I had not seen the first Beetlejuice in a few, some amount of years, but with a new Beetlejuice, um, a lot of video uh, YouTube channels thought up every kind, things you didn't know, uh, sins and errors. So I came up with, oh, there's things in, in the first Beetlejuice that stick out to me like, uh, didn't work or, you know, so the, this scene with the car falling into the, uh, like a ravine or a creek, I didn't think there was that much water, despite that. Um, when I look back at this, uh, the first Beetlejuice, I'm looking at the, the has a car fell in and, and, and I looked at it several times, I didn't think there was that much water in the creek again. Um... Despite that, I still think they could have escaped that. Three reasons. Originally, I said I thought there was not that much water when it, when the car submerged, crashed in, upside down and submerged. I didn't think that was that much water. Number two, the car did not explode. And number three, it did, the car didn't seem to crush or implode like the roof or the rest of the car. It didn't wreckage. So they wouldn't have been physically hurt. So, I still think they could have escaped this alive. There are so many obvious errors in Beetlejuice. And, you know, I love this movie like everybody else. But things are stick out so obvious. Um, when they enter the dead world, nether world, whatever you want to call it, uh, Barbara and Adam Maitland, um, they supposedly drown in their car. Now, when they enter this nether world, the receptionist says she point you no know, first the maitland say wow adam is this how is this look like how when we die and the receptionist points out to people in the waiting room this is how this look like when he dies and she dies she's pointing out how, how when you die you'll show up exact the, the the cause of death will be obvious problem is the maitlands don't look like they're dead they look like as normal as human beings like us alive and well they walk in, okay, maybe their clothes are, 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 are soaking drenched, drenched with water. But they don't look like, say, their lungs are filled or blue or their skin are blue or something. They don't look like they've drowned. Now, people got, make comments might say to me, well, it depends on the image or the look of how you drowned. Well, everybody else in that waiting room shows obvious signs of how they died. Why aren't the Maitlands? They have no obvious um, image or no makeup or anything that they've died of drowning or something. There you look as normal and human as alive as we are. That's an obvious error. Now in this scene where Beetlejuice has to get Lydia to say his name, he doesn't want, he can't say his name actually. Um, when he plays charades with her and the first word he has to get her to say uh, Beetle. Now what I find wrong wrong with this or an error is he you no know, he's trying to get her to turn around and he has to say it out loud to so turn around. She turns around to see a bug. Now she just blurts out the word beetle. Um, there's a million insects. Everybody comment to me. Does that look like a beetle? I'll have to look it up. I didn't research this. Does that look like a beetle? It could be any insect. Is it hi? How are you? That's what he's the, the, this bug says in in Beetlejuice's voice. Um, that's, <laughs> she, she blurts the first word out of her as beetle. That could have been any insect at all. Now, again, when Beetlejuice is having, uh, continuing to charades, play charades to get the second word juice out of her, he, she sees a, a carton of juice, uh, pour into a glass. I counted this at least six to seven times. He, she comes with six to seven different words breakfast and 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 uh, um I, I i off the top of my head i i can't remember but he she said i counted six to seven different kind of words relatable but then comes up with juice but originally when when he has her look at the, this bug shows up this is beetle the first word that pops out of her mouth is beetle but the second part i guess is the is the movie delay it was intentional but she couldn't figure out the word juice out of a carton with with an, 
with orange color or oranges on the carton, filling the, the, the glass up with juice. And she comes with six, seven different words. Uh, yeah, so I guess my script intentional, I don't know if improv or not, but I find an error in this charades play that she comes up with Beetle first, and I question that was a Beetle at all, and she can't come up with, she comes up with six, seven different words instead of, ju instead of juice. What's pouring out of a carton of juice that, uh, oh my God, that, uh, that, that's, an, that's an error. That's one of the, yeah, it's the second error I, I discovered. In this scene, Juno, they, their caseworker, really mad at them, uh, bring, uh, bring, brings um, uh, them into her office and says, you really screwed up. You let him out and didn't put him back. Didn't put him back? How They can hardly deal with him, talk to him, handle him. And you, you're supposed to put him back in his grave? Okay, <laughs> I don't get that at all. You didn't put him back. I don't get that. How do you put Beetlejuice back in the first place? <laughs> Here's another obvious situation error. I, I guess I, I could call it a situation error. Two different scenes are contradicting each other with Lydia. When she first meets the Maitlands, they're covered in bed sheets and they're and they're they're going uh, boo and whatnot. They're making this this made up sounds, and Lydia um, starts taking Polaroid shots of them, and she's trying to talk to them. And she's really a, like a gothic, moody type of person that she's wondering what she they look like under the sheets. And he says, do you look like the, the Night of the Living Dead are there? They look like zombies and pus and whatnot. She isn't scared. However, when uh, the Maitland's caseworker, Juno, tells them to make up faces, to you know, tell the, the, if you want to get rid of this family, scare them off yourselves. And they start messing up their faces. They call it, uh, online, they call it, they, the Maitlands converted their faces in, in really grotesque type of weird faces, head, their heads change. When they encounter Lydia, Lydia is scared to death of them. I'm sorry, that don't make any sense. If Lydia is saying, what, what do you look under those sheets? You look, you look like zombies, not the living dead. She doesn't seem scared whatsoever. Death, ghosts, nothing. But when she sees these weird faces, she's scared to death at all. She starts yelling at both, at yelling and scared of both of them. That contradicts, that's a contradiction situation. That don't make any sense, sorry. Now this happens in two different scenes in toward the beginning and toward the ending, the uh, book of the recently deceased, the, ha the handbook of the recently deceased it's called. Um, Adam Maitland, he's reading it and he says, this, this book reads, reads like stereo. Um, or, or stereo instructions and later in the movie at the end toward the ending Charles he see looks into the book of, of the recent handbook of the recently deceased Th these were like stereo instructions I, I looked up on the internet and I could not look I don't get that what in the movie the movie is never it does not explain this now Adam did start reading from the book and it has strange instructions they don't get it even Charles Neither of them understand this book, even though all the ghosts, all the dead people say, you didn't bring the book, you didn't read through the book. You can't even understand the book. But to say the phrase, it reads like stereo instructions, that's never explained. That's a big error, people. Now, in this scene, it's, it's toward the ending where uh, Beetlejuice's uh, demise is going to come. Now, it's just as uh, there's so many interruptions in getting married to Lydia, um... Barbara is going to come through the ceiling with the sandworm. Now, here's a time error that a lot of movies go through this. And apparently Tim Burton didn't notice, apparently. You can see Beetlejuice react. Ah! And he bends downward. Damn it, a second later, Barbara comes through the, sand, through the ceiling with a sandworm. It is so obvious why, why Tim Burton didn't see that or the editors didn't see that. That it's a time error, I call it. That uh, Michael Keaton Beetlejuice reacted. Ah! He screams, bends down. Then Barbara comes down through the ceiling with a sandworm. Time error, I call it. I know the Beetlejuice film has got to be outrageous. And Tim Burton's films are crazy and outrageous. 
when Beetlejuice dies, and then again, I guess, in his nether world, his death world, he's waiting, he's sitting down waiting to be seen by a caseworker or whomever. The ticket counter number changes to number three. <sighs> he says. But he looks at his ticket number. Now, this is crazy. I had to uh, take a look at this number a couple times to get it right. Nine trillion, nine hundred ninety-eight billion, three hundred eighty-three million, seven hundred fifty thousand. First, I said there's not that many people on the planet Earth, but you look at it another way, it's probably how many people died in human history. You could look at it that way. That's the only way I could figure out how outrageous a number this was. Did he just? Did he just murder the Deans? This movie is a hell of a lot darker than his jaunty score and smiling faces would lead you to believe. Now, this error um, is actually in the second film, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's a tiny spoiler. Um, first of all, I want to give credit to, to the YouTube channel CinemaSins. They, um, th that channel um, helped me with what I'm, I discovered in the second film. Um, in the second film, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, um, Delia is awaiting arrival of people to, for her late husband Charles's funeral. She looks in the, di the distance and says, is that Maxie Dean? If, I'm not sure a person or a car had arrived. Uh, problem. I thought Maxie Dean died. Now in the cinema scenes um, of, of Beetlejuice, they cover one point where uh, Beetlejuice um, takes this carnival type of um, hammer a uh, game of some sort and he causes them to go crashing Maxie Dean and his wife go crashing through the ceiling now Cinemason says did did, did, did Bill just kill them I'm gonna give credit to Cinemason they pointed this out but in the second Bill Juice movie again Delia is, is asking is, is she thinks she sees Maxie Dean in a car arriving uh, I kind of call that an error since it was pointed out in the first movie. It it seemingly obvious that that, that Maxi Dean and his wife had died. Um, I call this situation in, in, a questionable error. I'm not sure how to look at this. Did he die or didn't he? D didn't him and his wife die or didn't they? <laughs> 